We're at Tulsa, Oklahoma, Arena Cross, talking to Ricky Carmichael. Ricky Carmichael, what are you doing here, man? Uh, well, you know, the whole uh, Ricky Carmichael road to Supercross with the, uh, you know, the Amsoil Arena Cross. So uh, I think it's a great opportunity uh, for, for all the racers, the young guys that are coming, that are, that are coming up for the whole you know, the, the road to Supercross, uh, there's a lot behind it. Myself and Phil have been working on this idea for a while now, and uh, kind of being able to see it in motion now, it's pretty cool. Um, I think we'll really see the benefit in like two years, I think is when yeah. we'll really see, see things starting to pick up from it. But uh, nevertheless, I think it brings some more recognition to uh, Arena Cross, uh, which these guys are extremely talented, and it's, it's some tough race, and I was... Uh, I was really impressed. I mean, I've always had a lot of respect for him, but to see it in person is pretty cool. And um, as for the Road to Supercross stuff, I think it'll really, uh, you know, it'll help the younger guys coming up and, and get their feet under them, if you will, and not just be thrown in for wolves. Yeah. I noticed when you came down about the middle of the night show, and yeah. you were laughing. You said, yeah. these guys are fast. This this is good racing. Yeah. 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 It, it's, it's, I mean, it's really good racing, for sure. And it's... It's really tight. I mean, I got to ride the track and practice, and I had a good time with it. I like this kind of racing, so you know, I, I guess I'm, I'm kind of partial to it. But it was it, it was good. I, the bracket racing was uh, uh, extremely entertaining yeah. for sure, and uh, I think the fans liked it as well. I mean, you know, even it, it, it's easy. The concept of the racing is easy. There's not you know, there's not so many rhythm lanes, so yeah. many things happening. And uh, sometimes simplicity is bliss. Yeah. So um, back to this road to Supercross. Yes. Uh, you got your name on it. Yes. So you're out there. You're saying race Serena Cross first. Yes. And then Supercross. Yes. Fan, you know how fans are. They're, people don't like change. They're yes. nervous. So you're taking on a tough job. You're going you're gonna to promote some change. You want to see the sport change. Well, I, I think, let, let's put it this way. Supercross, if they want Monster Energy Supercross to be like F1 and MotoGP, you can't go buy a street bike and try to qualify for a MotoGP. That's same, for sure. same, same thing for F1, and, and, and the, the feeling that I get is that's where they want to be. So uh, That's specialized. Yes. I mean, it, it should be only the best of the best out there, um, and ma mainly for safety reasons. Yeah. You know, these bikes are extremely fast these days. The track's have a lot of stuff happening and going on with rhythm lanes and what have you and if you don't have a lot of experience you you really don't have any business being out there and I think I'm I'm looking out for a lot of guys safety I think I'm looking out for the current racers some of the best that are in the world best in the world uh, it's just gonna make the program better over there there won't be so many guys that it'll give more time for track preparation, and there won't it won't be a madhouse on race day, and that's the, kind of the long term goals that I'm looking for. You know, let's get the guys that we need and race those guys, and 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 we'll have more time for track prep and all that business, and and, and guys' safety uh, won't be in jeopardy for the guys that you know the Supercross rolls to their local town and they want to suit up and try yeah. to impress their friends and family when Remember that. They, they're really, you know, yeah, <clears> the, uh, the level of Supercross is too high now and the bikes go too fast and there's, there's too much safety at stake. Um, also, protecting your investment for the young kids coming up, you know, I think it's it's good that they cut their teeth and I know I've said it before, you know, Ryan Dungey went and did a warm-up one before his first uh, Supercross race and he thought it was awesome. So, uh, Later, I, I, I just believe in that. Yeah, you also mentioned, uh, like, we're sitting here at the autograph session, so you know, after the race, everybody comes up and sits. It took a while, yes. about an hour. So that's other practice that people bring, you know, from arena. They're going to learn not just to ride. They're going to learn how to meet fans in the afternoon yes. and sign autographs at the thing at night, things like that. Yeah, I think it uh, kind of grooms the riders beforehand. If you want to go race Monster Energy Supercross, you're exposed to, you know, a, a closed course. Fans are really close. It's, yeah, it's loud. It's nothing like you ever experienced in amateur racing. Uh, and, and and I think it, you know, obviously, as I said earlier, it'll help the arena cross series. And, uh, it, you know, these, these kids coming up and they, they want to set their sights on the premier racing, and that's Monster Energy Supercross. If, they, if they're good enough, you know, then they're going to be able to breeze through here for the most part. And, you know, we've made the point structure to where you can obtain it if you do your job. 
and what you're supposed to where you don't have to race the whole series. So that's, that's what it's all about now. It's going to be tough to beat guys like Bowers and other cats yeah. that, are, that are racing the uh, – races every single weekend but uh, we structured it so it's basically you, you get here you get the gist of it the feel as you said you know working with the press autograph sessions being exposed to tv it's just it, it really is a win-win yeah last one some people are going to you've mentioned uh, a couple times that supercross is just getting faster and faster and intense somebody might just say well just slow it down you slower bikes or something yeah. that's not a popular idea is it <laughs> No, you know, these, these manufacturers spend a lot of money in technology and making them where they can handle good at the speed that they go. And that, that's progression. I think as the bikes get faster, I think uh, the tracks could be better somehow, some way. I think there's a happy medium. I think, but, but in order to get to that goal, we have to have communication. And uh, it needs to come from you know, the sanctioning body, the promoters, and the riders. And uh, it doesn't really come from the sanctioning body, you know. Uh, so I think it's more up to the promoter. And uh, I know the sanctioning body isn't going to do anything, so it's going to come from the promoter and, and the riders getting together and, and really working together. And, you know, I, I don't, you know, slowing them down, yeah, that that's going to be tough, but just making them safer, you know, and, to where you don't always have that carrot out there to where if I jump this, if I don't make it, I'm going to really hurt myself. That's what we have to eliminate somehow. And I know there's no magic wand, but we all, at the end of the day, we all want it to be safer. And, you know, the bikes aren't going to get any slower, I can tell you that. Hmm, all right. Well, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. It's good to see you here. Yeah, good to see you as well. Thank you all very right, much. Thanks. Yeah.